All right, welcome back. This is going to be a little bit more advanced tutorial on hopscotch here with my friend, Mr. Gorilla. And uh, let's get started. So uh, pretty cool things here. I want to talk about maybe creating a D-pad or a directional pad with Mr. Gorilla. Uh, you notice that when the iPad uh, with these commands here is tilted down, uh, we can change his Y. Now, uh, if you remember in your math lessons, Y is up and down and down would be negative. So we're going to say negative 10 there. And if we just tap on this, we're going to tap a new script and we're going to also tell it when it moves up. So we change the Y by positive 10. Same thing if it is tilted to the left, we're going to change its X and we're going to move it to the left, which is negative. Remember left is negative, right is positive. So now we change its X by that and it is 10. So there it is. So now when I push play, let's move him in the middle of the screen there, we push play and we tilt to the right, he moves to the right, tilt to the left, he goes back, tilt up, boom, and down. We have now made some sort of directional pad with our accelerometer there. The other cool thing too is we can make it so that he looks like he's going further away. So let's do left, when it is tilted down, we're gonna scale his percentage by 90%. We're gonna make him get smaller. And when he goes up, we're gonna make it 110. So we're gonna make him get bigger. So when he goes down, he gets smaller. He goes up, he gets bigger. And then when he goes left, he's gonna get smaller again. And then when he goes right, he's going to get bigger as well. So now we can make it look like as he's going down, Hi, Mr. Gorilla. <laughs> but then we move him up, he gets bigger and bigger back like he was before. Pretty cool, huh? Almost as if it's 3D going into the screen and he's flying away. See you later, dude. There he is, gone, 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 gone. And now he's just dust. All right, pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's uh, talk about a few more things that we can do here. We've got Gorilla coming back. There you are. All right. Uh, let's add a new object here. Let's go with Mr. Monkey. And we're going to do some, when the play button is pressed, we're going to leave a trail. And we're going to move. We're going to do some repeating. This is going to make some shapes. This will be a, uh, let's do a hexagon. So we'll do six times six sides. 360 divided by six gives us a rotation of 60 degrees. We hit enter should make a hexagon. And it's going to hit the wall. That's one thing that you do need to notice is that if it does hit the wall, it will go straight. It's an invisible wall up there. So if we move him more right about there, then it'll actually draw a pretty cool hexagon. Boom. And there it is. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, let's change this, make this a little bit smaller. Let's do about 20. And let's repeat it four times. We're going to make a square. I'm going to get rid of Mr. Gorilla. Sorry, dude. It's your time to go. And now we're just going to use Mr. Monkey. So this should make us a square, repeating it four times, 20 distance, and rotate 90 degrees. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And then we're going to make Mr. Monkey go away. Sorry, dude, but it's hard to see. So now let's repeat this process over and over again. And now we're going to work with what's called variables. And this will be pretty cool because we can make the square expand every time. So we're going to repeat this process, let's just say 100 times, and we're going to make kind of a spiral. And this will be pretty cool. So we're going to actually set and control a variable at the beginning. We're going to name it. And this is going to be, let's just call it x. That's going to be the length. And it's going to be, we'll start off with 10. And notice here, I can take x now on the left side and I can move my distance four. Repeat it four times and my x is 10. So notice what I've just done, let's recap. X is up here at the top in this command. I've created x, it's setting it to 10. And instead of putting 20 there, I'm gonna put x, which is 10. So now if I do this, it's still going to say, hey, I'm gonna move x distance and he'll move 10 over and over again 100 times. Now nothing really changed, right? We've just created a variable. Now, after we draw that square, I want to change the variable. I'm going to add x here. I'm going to add change it by 10. So now my square is going to get a little bit bigger each time. Watch this. So the first one will be 10, the next one will be 20, next one will be 30, 40, 50, and so forth. 
So I've just added 10 each time, all the way up until you know it gets to 100 times. That's what variables do for you. Pretty cool, huh? All right. And now if we want to do a spiral, instead of drawing a whole square, I believe we just draw two sides of it. And let's see what this does. And now we're drawing a spiral. Fast forward a little bit. All right, and we've got this sweet, almost like a mesmerizing hallway or a top of a pyramid or something, doesn't it? Pretty cool. Uh, we, remember, we can set our speed, too. So if we wanted something to go really, really fast, we'll do that. Get Mr. Monkey to go as fast as he can go. Um, let's change the color. We can add some variables, and we can make it rainbow. This is pretty cool. We're going to set the variable, call it color, add that variable. We're going to set that color to 0. Now we're going to set the line color to that variable color. We add it right in there. Oh, not there, but there. There we go. So now we've set the line color to that 0. And then after every time we draw a line, or every time we draw a square, we will change the variable color. We're going to change it by 1. OK, so I've changed the variable by color, but I've not set the line color. So let's actually move the line color right there. And then this will now change that line color. So now we should have different colors over and over again every time we draw. We have actually have to change that line color. Now we get this cool rainbow effect. Pretty awesome, huh? Really cool. A lot you can do with the variables, OK? Stop. All right. Um, some of the other things, too. Let's add another one here. We can add Gorilla back. OK, I like you now. Let's get you back in. Um, we can make it so that um, when the Gorilla collides with the edge or with the monkey, we can make him disappear. We can make him change his size. We can make him say something. So then you can imagine creating a game out of this. Because when the Gorilla touches the monkey, maybe something happens. All right. So you can do some pretty cool stuff here. Definitely share some of the projects that you are making. Would love to see them, guys, and uh, have fun.